Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Timu haul for you today. Now, if you're not familiar with Timu, it is a website and an app um, and they ship you all sorts of fun, festive items. I think they have clothing, housewares, jewelry. They offer deep discounts. They offer free shipping and free returns up to 90 days after purchase. Um, so yeah, I would definitely, oh, sorry, crazy here. I would definitely say give them a look-see if you have it, although it's all over the internet. I'm sure we all have heard of Timu before. Uh, yeah, but I would say definitely give them a look. Sorry, I had to fix my camera. Uh, this shirt that I'm wearing is from Timu. I love it. Um, I will say the, I think this is a, DCF transfer and supposedly it will get softer as it's washed. It's a little plasticky, but I think once I launder it, it will be um, better. I'll stand up and give you a good look. And it says Merry Christmas with all the trees on it. I love it. It's super comfortable. Uh, I bought my normal size, 3X. Um, so let's get started. We have coffee. So we're, start, we're, we're mixing a little Christmas and um, Halloween. Because I'm not, I don't have Halloween put away yet. It is December. No, it is November, girl. It is November. I'm on vacation this week, so the house will be cleaned. So most of the stuff is Christmas themed, just as an FYI. And I believe they're going to be having some Black Friday sales. All right. The one thing I will say, if you're buying for gifting... The shipping leaves a lot to be desired. Like these boxes come kind of mangled. To just be aware. But I got this. Because I'm doing my kitchen and I think pinks and mint. Like this shirt. I'm really obsessed with these colors. I should have brought my scissors over here. But I did not do that. I may have to go get them. Let's see if I can get this nutcracker out of here. Spoiler, it's a nutcracker. Hmm, come on. They, they do package everything. I haven't had a lot of things come to me damaged. So even though sometimes the boxes are banged up, the product inside are usually in good shape. All right, I'm gonna need to get my scissors, I think, for this one. Let me get my scissors. Got my scissors. And this nutcracker has some styrofoam on it. Oh my gosh, isn't she adorable? I'm gonna say she's a female king. Uh, uh, they had all the different styles and colors and look at the glitter. <sighs> Those are um, from the styrofoam. Guys, I love it. I love the height of it. I mean, it's a decent size one and it was nowhere near the pricing that I have been seeing. I probably will attach this, although for storage, it might be handy to um let it come out so it doesn't get broken over the you know the off season but i will tell you i've been looking at these and they have been pretty pricey like upwards of this size 15 to 20 dollars and i don't think i paid that actually i didn't pay anything these were all sent to me but my opinions are my own um let's see what is in here oh i got some garlands to try out actually i have two so we got this one and I haven't unraveled this one yet and let it do its thing, but I can already tell you that I love it. And I think this is gonna go on my mantle with um, some dark green. So some of it will be frosty, although I might just do this one. I'm pretty sure this will fit across my mantle. I was looking at the viral garlands from I will tell you though, this white flocking comes off. Um, I was looking at some of the viral garlands at Hobby Lobby and they're $100. Even on sale, they're $50. i am not spending that. So this I like because of how flexible it is and it will drape across my mantle. I may have to order a second one to make sure that I have it full enough on my mantle. So I have to go in on my own link and order it free shipping, you know. So, oh, here's the other girl one. This one I got, and I think it'll be perfect for outside. It definitely is plasticky. Like there's no if ands, or buts about it. What I do like are these little hook points throughout. 
And I think hanging this over my front door, you'll never know. It's plasticky. It also will weather well. And um, it did smell a little strong when I opened the package. I let it hang by my front door on a key hook. I'm trying to untangle it here. You just want to go through like any garland and kind of fluff it up a little bit. It has some nice flexibility as well, the brown to it. I really enjoy this. It's definitely going to hang over my front door with my Christmas lights after I untangle all the pieces to make sure you get maximum fluff. Uh, yeah, definitely worth the price. It has the hooks that I like and it will weather well outside. And it's a different, it's not like a pine pine. Ooh, okay, excuse me while I get all the glitter off me. Guys, I got glitter everywhere. This is not a Christmas present. This is for me for my cross stitching. If you've no watch anybody who does cross stitch journaling, what they do is you take a book and this is how the book came. It's faux leather, does have the heart on the front. I like the metal here. And the pages in here are really sturdy cardstock, which I like. But the what I love the most and I'm putting it comes not put together with these book rings. But I like that if you're using it as like a, um, God, what do we used to have when we were kids and we would keep all of our um, treasures and memories in, and it always wasn't just pictures, you know, it was things. Um, I'm trying to get this put together real quick. This is what that reminds me of. Also, what I love about it is that if I put thicker items in it, they will not, it, there's going to be room because you don't have like a sturdy binding, if you will. You've got room with these rings and I'll show you. All you do, all I'm doing is feeding these book rings, which I use book rings all the time in my cross stitch to hold my floss, which is kind of cool that it kind of ties together. Also, they send you an extra. So this book only holds three, takes three book rings, but they sent me four, which is great. So what I like about it and why I wanted to put it together, it can hold some width in here. Like it's not tight. It doesn't have to have flat items in it. I could take that red page out, which I probably will to label it. But these are some sturdy pages. Yeah, it's a little floppy, but that's the whole design because then you have a lot of room to put thicker items. And what I want to put in here is little cross stitches that I do that I necessarily don't want to hang or finish, but I did them and I want to save them. And so then I can put them on a page, put a little note next to it, what it is when I did it and it will stay in here and there'll be room in this book. And I know you're all yelling at me what those books were called. It also comes with these little corners if you want to do pictures. So I thought that was fantastic for me to do for some crafting later next year. Um, I also got this sweatshirt. It says, just a girl who loves Christmas. This is also a three X and it fits well. Um, this one's a little blurry. I, I, yeah, it's a little blurry. So I will definitely just let you know that up close. But I think it's cute. And now this is, these shirts are polyester. They are not like cotton t-shirts. Although this one feels like a blend. This one definitely is 100% polyester. So just a heads up with what you like. Um, I'm telling you the Nutcracker is a thing this year. I'm trying to figure out where the opening is on this. There is not one. So we will get the skizzers out. And this is, are these placemats? No, this is a table runner that I think is going to go on my dining room table. Look at that. It is definitely a different fabric. Um, obviously, this is not high quality Pottery Barn, but it's still pretty to put out. And I love the colors. So I grabbed this and it's gonna go on my table. So it's a table runner, 
for my dining room. Possibly. And then these are a set of placemats that match, which I really enjoy. So you get four placemats and they all say Merry Christmas and I love it. And maybe that'll go to work with me. I don't know. I'm decorating my work cubicle or this could go at the work cubicle, but I loved it. I was able to get a set of matching for the house because we need things like that, right? Oops, sorry. I have a mess down here already. Guys, I'm a disaster. Um, I would probably next time maybe go down a size in this one. It is a little big. I'm not sure if it'll shrink or not. Um, also for my kitchen, I decided Timu may have to do, I have little shelves in my kitchen, a little three shelf system. I got that and it would, I know it has holes I can hang it, but it's just gonna lean. And this one says, Mrs. Claus, old fashioned hot chocolate, add your own toppings. But the colors match and the height is nice. So this will just sit in the background and it is metal. I also have one that says coffee because murder is wrong with a cat on it that I got from Timu. Should I use this as my thumbnail? We should hide the black cat. No, we shouldn't. Maybe we should. I don't know. Kitchen. Oh, so I'm doing a new Christmas tree set up this year. I'm having company at the beginning of December and my Christmas tree is giant. I need a new Christmas tree, it's too big. So I bought a four foot tree. I'm gonna put it in the bay window. I've talked about it before, but I needed a tree skirt for it. So I got one. I mean, it's a Velcro, which is fine. And because it wasn't expensive, if the cats throw up on it, I'm not mad. But it's, oh, I love it. It's a white, a little, yeah, it's definitely white with these gold. And it's perfect size for a four foot tree. And it also will fit in the bay window. I don't want anything hanging because if they jump and get their claws in it by accident, they won't knock the tree over on purpose or, but they may on accident. So I ordered a small, pretty tree skirt to go under the tree. And I'm gonna sit it on top of a fur rug I bought from Timu last year. All right, just a few more things. Oh, this is fun. So I'm not sure if you're familiar with the willow tree. Yeah, the willow tree figurines, and they're lovely. Um, I saw on TikTok, somebody took them and painted them and put witches hats on them and made like witches. So I want to do that, and I, but I didn't want to spend or ruin a good willow tree. So I got a knockoff version, but it's holding a cat, which will become a black cat. She will probably be wearing like a dark gray dress and her cat is going to be black. And then these little wings on the back come off. Um, well, they will come out. I don't know how, but they're going to come off. Oh, here we go. Yep. I took them off. I'll fill that hole. And then she will become a second of mine. I have another one. She'll be the second. And it is so neat. So I bought her. I will just leave her hair the same, her skin. I will only paint the cat in her dress and then I will put a witch's hat on her. I know, so fun. And I'm not ruining like a decent willow tree. However, I did buy one from a uh, thrift store. Um, also for my kitchen, I told you I was a little kitchen phobic. Phobic? No, centric. I got these ornaments. I thought they would look pretty. See what I mean? Like things are just kind of banged up. It would really be helpful if they stuck things in boxes. These are technically, oh, oh God, I don't like the way that feels. These are ornaments. It, I thought it was going to be fur. Yeah, not. Nah, it's pokey. But I could put them in a bowl or just sit them on a shelf just for color. 
I need to find some more mint green stuff. But this came in a three pack and I thought these were great for my treat, for my shelving. I have a bunch of little stuff here, but one more larger item that I got. This is for pottery. Technically it's for cookies. It's a rolling pin and they had all different ones, but this one just has Christmas and you roll your cookie dough and it prints it but I can use it in pottery on my clay for my hand building class that I'm currently taking. So I'm so happy this came and I can roll this on a slab and then cut it out and make like an ornament or something and then paint it. So I think this is super fun. Well, hello, Alex. You say hi. Hi, Alex. Hi, buddy. Hi, Alex. Alex came to say hi. Okay, and the last things I have is all a bunch of little stuff. Um, I did pick up this iron-on. It's just a cat's, it's a Maui Christmas tree. It's a cat tree. And you iron it on. It did not come with any directions, which is concerning. It's fine. Um, I have a t-shirt. I think it irons on cotton. We'll see. Uh, just some pajamas, but it says Meowy Christmas. So I grabbed that. Duh. Um, oh, for pottery, I picked up these paint brushes. So you get all these, but they're detail brushes. So I'll show you one. I got to take them all out and put them in my pottery kit. Oh, I'll get that out in a minute, but they are fine point when we do um and I like that it's ergonomic so it has a an ergonomic triangular hold and these are just tiny little brushes for um painting so in my pottery class that I'm taking right now it's called hand building we do some under glazing with paint with ceramic paint and then clear glaze over it so I grabbed and they're all size, like zero, 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 up to, I don't know what the fattest one I have, a seven maybe. What's this? Yeah, seven or an eight potentially. But they're all pretty fine tips, which is perfect for the pottery class. Now, I got some ornaments because it's Christmas. And they have such fun ornaments that are really can, any personalization. This one says, the love between an aunt and a niece is forever. Now, it's, it's wood. I think I'm going to go over it with some Mod Podge or something. But I got that for my niece, and I'll put it on one of her presents. Most of these I will gift. Maybe, maybe I'll keep them. Who knows? Um, oh, I grabbed these little beads. I think they're wooden though, which makes me not, yeah, they're wood beads for some decorative pins I was making, but I want ceramic, so these aren't going to work, but they're just a little thing of cow beads. I know, fun. Okay, so I'm just going to cut all these ornaments open. They do all come with ties, but if you want to elevate them, I say you add your own ties. But this is just a black cat and a stocking. And of course I needed that this year, right? Cause duh. Oh my gosh, these are adorable. They are man beard, deck, uh, beard ornaments. I'm dying. So they hang like this, right? And they have little clippies, like hair clippies, and they put them in their beard. And Sarah's boyfriend has a beard. So this is going in his advent calendar and there are bells and ornaments. And he will need to wear those to be festive at Christmas time. I know. So this is for an advent calendar. I love making those. This is for Sarah's advent calendar. 
and it goes on her Stanley cup and it goes on her lid. It's a cover for her Stanley cup. So that will go in Sarah's advent. I grabbed this. It was random and I'm, it was a dollar. I'm pretty sure the prices are listed, but I'm not sure that that price point is great, but if you're giving a little gift, it's a little like, right? You put your little gift in here of whatever. So it's like gift wrapping, but I feel like a dollar might be a little much. But it's pretty, it's cute. I thought I thought maybe I would get more than one. I probably should have read the direct, the packaging, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, oh, <laughs> for my boss at work, I'm getting her an entire collection of chicken stuff. And to go on the outside, she's getting a chicken ornament. I also got her a chicken purse and chicken earrings. So she'll get the chicken ornament to go with her gift. I'll get her something real, but this is just hysterical. All right, Oops. Ah. put it back in its package. I don't want that one to get messed up. It's a chicken. Uh, let's see, what else did I get? Oh, this one here. Some of these I didn't quite know what they are. It's a black cat and he's knocking the tree over and he says, what? Like what? This is a cat thing. I'm very lucky my cats don't do that. And everybody in my family might get a black cat ornament. I'm just saying. This one I saw all over my Facebook feed and I then I saw it on Timu and I said, well, I need that. And it's, it's okay. I'm trying to see if there's, I think there is. I'm hoping there is. Uh, maybe, let's see. I'm trying to see if there's like, plastic yeah I think so over the resin yeah sorry I'm just trying to get it off so you can see it better so it's not blurry yeah here we go so when you get these things that come like in resin there's usually a plastic over the front like what is that there's a granny square crochet blanket, a black cat on a couch. And there it's double sided. Now I don't think on the back there's that plastic. But um that's going on my tree. Yeah, it is. And then the last things I picked up are gonna end up in the kitchen somehow. Probably off of a garland, if I had to guess. Um, and I also have some other ones, so that's good. But these are to go with the Nutcracker theme. They're just some ornaments that match. Oh, I love her. So pretty. And these are for the Nutcracker. So they may end up in the dining room on a tiered tray. They may end up, um hanging in my kitchen. I definitely want her somewhere because she is a beautiful sugar plum Perry. Isn't she gorgeous? I love that. So I grabbed a pack of those. And I think that is everything I got from Timu um, this time around. So definitely check them out. Everything is linked in the description box below. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.